Hello friends, this PHP React CRUD application tutorial series, and under this part, we will learn how to submit edit user form data under this React application, and then after, we will make API for update user data under this React CRUD application. In previous part, we have already learned how to make edit component under this React application. And then after, we have set route of that component, then after we have fetch, single user data. And display under edit user form, so if you not seen that part, so please first see that part. But now, under this tutorial, first we want to submit, edit form data, so we have goes to, edit component file. And here, we have to write, handle submit callback function, and this function, we will use for submit form data. Under this function, we have to write event.prevent default method, so it will prevent from reloading of web page. Now we want to send form data to PHP Edit API, so for this, we have to write JavaScript fetch API. And in first parameter, we have to write PHP Edit API link, and under this link, we have to write ID variable is equal to user ID variable. So here we have pass user ID under this link. And in second API, we have to define different option. So in first option, we have to write method. And here we have to define put method. In second option, we have to write headers. And here we have to define JSON content type. In third option, we have to write body. And here we have to write json.stringify function. And under this function, we have to write user, so it will convert form data into JSON string and send to PHP Edit API. After this, we have to write then callback function, and this function will receive data from PHP Edit API. And under this function, we have to write response.json function, so it will convert data into JSON format. Next, we have to again write then callback function and this function will receive data in JSON format. Now under this function, we have called navigate function and under this, we have write slash. So this function will redirect current route to user list component and it will display user list data on web page. So after creating this function, now we want to call this function when form has been submitted. So here in form tag, we have to write on submit attribute is equal to handle submit function. So when form data has been submitted, then it will send data request to PHP edit API. Now we have goes to action.php file and here we have to write code for update data. So here we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write dollar method variable value is equal to put. So if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, first we have want to store user form data under local variable. So here we have to write dollar form data variable is equal to JSON decode function. And under this, we have to write file get contents function. And under this, we have to write PHP input. So here, this file get contents function will receive incoming data in JSON format. And then after, this JSON decode function, which will convert data into PHP array object and store under this local variable. Next we have to write dollar $data variable is equal to an array. Now in first key, we have to write double colon first name and in value, we have to write dollar $form data object with first name variable. In second key, we have to write double colon last name and in value, we have to write dollar form data object with last name variable. In third key, we have to write double colon email and in value, we have to write dollar form data object with email variable. In fourth key, 
we have to write double colon id and in value we have to write dollar form data object with id variable so here we have extract data from this dollar form data object and now we have proceed for update data so here we have to write dollar query variable is equal to update sample users table set table column first name value is equal to double colon first name last name table column value is equal to double colon last name email table column value is equal to double colon email and under where condition we have to write id is equal to double colon id so this query will update single user data now for execute this query so here we have to write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method and under this we have to write dollar query variable so it will prepare query for execution and now for execute above update query so here we have to write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have to write dollar data variable so it will execute update and it will update single user data now for send response to client so here we have to write echo statement with json encode function and under this we have to write array like success key with done as value so it will send response to client in json format so here our code is ready so friends first we have goes to browser and here we have to refresh web page and after refresh of web page here we can see that user data has been display on web page and in each row we can see edit button has been display for edit data so for edit this row data so we have click on edit button and after click on edit button here we can see that user data edit form has been display on web page with fill form data now we have make some changes in first name field and after this we have click on edit button and after click on edit button here we can see that user data has been edited and here we can see that updated user data has been display on web page so in this part we have learn how to update or edit data under this react crud application by using php api and in next part we will learn how to delete or remove user data under this react crud application so we will be meet in next part